Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I would like to take you on my daily artifact farming route. This is something I typically do when I'm out of resin and just want to build up my resources, uh, get some artifact fodder, stuff like that. So uh, this is not my own, this is not a collection of my own discovery. This is, this knowledge information is mostly from a plethora of other YouTube videos that I've watched and resource guides that I've looked at and maps and stuff like that. So uh, today, I, this is something I started doing when I was probably like AR45 and now I'm AR55 and have pretty much refined this to something that I can do every day. Uh, so I'm going to take you through the, uh, mostly artifacts is the main thing we're looking for, uh, but we're also going to be looking for ores uh, and other like local specialty stuff like that. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, most of this is in Liyue. Uh, before we do, real quick, let's talk about team comp. Uh, this is super important, uh, but I recommend you can, it might, it might be helpful. You don't need a lot of characters for farming. Uh, I have these two characters. I, I have strong characters in here that can kill enemies because we are going to be looking for certain enemies. Uh, and then Kaya also decreases my stamina consumption, which is really nice as we're trying to move through this quickly. Beto, although she is the slowest farmer uh, as far as ores go, she's she deals a lot of damage and she uh, can get those ores. So first place we're going to start, this is uh, where I usually start, is right around here in, what is this called? Bushi, Bishu Plain? Some of these artifacts will not have respawned yet, uh, so I'm going to take you to all the locations I normally go to, but if there's nothing there, just know that it's not because I, uh, it's not because I misguided you. It's because it hasn't respawned yet. So typically, right here is a little treasure hoarder camp. Uh, if the treasure hoarders have respawned, that typically means that the artifacts have respawned as well. So, um, I'm just gonna kill these guys real quick. I got careless. I got careless. I probably won't kill every mob that we run into though, because it would take forever. I'll probably just run in, grab the artifacts, and go. <laughs> ah, yeah. But I'm always running out of treasure hoarders insignias, so. I'll get these for now. Thank you. Um. If you're in a rush and if you want to get through this quickly, so there's two right here, two. Sometimes you get white one star artifacts, sometimes you get uh, green two star artifacts, which is always nice. So three here. Uh, we're not going to be attacking every enemy we see. However, uh, if you are AR 45, I highly recommend. This is why I run with Beto, because she's not so loud. Uh, so see right here we're gonna grab some violet grass or are we because i just fell so far uh if you're ar45 or higher you probably know this already in case you don't uh elite enemies start dropping artifacts uh between four three and four star artifacts can be dropped which is amazing for artifact fodder uh and it depends on how much time I have in the day. But if you go to your adventure book and go to elite enemies, you can target specific enemies and just knock them out. You'll see right here. You can get Instructor, Legacy, uh, the Exile, and Berserker, uh, which you don't really want to use, but they're great for they're great for artifact fodder. So uh, if you want to specifically target those out, I only do that if I have like a lot of time. Here you can get some fish, typically three. If you have a lot of time, you can do that. Uh, I usually only end up having time for that if I'm streaming, but that definitely can help. Uh, but if you see elite enemies on the way, definitely do get them because you have their easy access and you can wipe out uh, and get some extra artifacts on your way around. Oh, I also didn't mention that I have Ningguang. Did I just... Oh, no. Thought I teleported to the right place. Uh, if you need a pyro... If you need to get some 
Wap Flower and Nectar. You can take these three. You pick these three and then one will pop up. I don't need any right now. And it's not an elite. Uh, so I'm not going to touch it. But these are elite enemies. Rain outlines your this will be frozen I usually cool. freeze these because they're so irritating. <laughs> I just try to kill them as fast as I can. <laughs> Did not get an artifact from that one, sadly. Um, I believe there are crystal flies up here. So let me see if I can grab those real quick. I try to do all of my farming. Ah, yeah. So crystal flies are often something I run out of. That you can grab along the way. Uh, by the way, crystal flies typically hang out. Um, you can always find them near... There's a couple locations. Windrise, Statue of the Seven, Starfell Statue of the Seven, I think, and then here, this domain has a ton. There's a cave over here that we're gonna stop by. Uh, right here, this has a lot. There's quite a few. Pretty much anywhere there's a cave, you can expect, yeah, here, here there'll be Crystal Fly. Uh, so don't miss out on that either. I'm gonna teleport here because it's faster. <laughs> the daily grind. This is especially good for free-to-play players because especially, I mean, when I say free-to-play, I mean like... There are some, there are some people who spend... Whenever I see a streamer spend Primo Gems to get Resin, I'm just like, wow. Don't waste my time. I didn't mean to do that. I just I just wonder, what's that like? Just have that kind of money. Oh. You can get some meat here, which is great. I'm always running out. Also, do your expeditions uh, as well. So I got one artifact from right here. Um, and ignore that for now. And then this is the best. Bye! Bye, bye, bye! Okay, this is my favorite spot on the map and somewhere that you should be going uh, as frequently as possible. This little cave right here respawns every 12 hours. And you can get one, two, three, four, five. I think that was five artifacts, and one of them was a two-star, which is awesome. This is one of the most generous artifact locations on the map, so make sure you're hitting this place. What's that? Um, what are we doing here? There's one more over here. Oh, also, I said this on stream when I was farming last. When you're just, like, roaming in the world, do make sure that you grab stuff. Like, if you're walking... And there's like a little nice so like that hit hit if there's barrels like break them because for a while it's like well you know i don't really need sweet flower sweet flowers everywhere two right here in these barrels and then there's some other ones over here as well some fish um yeah there's like stuff that you don't need i guess like iron but now, like, we're getting the housing system. This is right. This is filmed right before 1.5, if you're watching this later. Um, I don't- I never kill the babies. But in the past, there's been these, like, there's no reason to have, like, an excessive amount of, like, lotus or, you know, more than 300 of an item. And then Genshin rolls out this little item. The parametric transformer that you can just dump 500 or 150 of any anything and turn it into something uh something valuable so just when you're out and about if there's something available to grab just grab it because you may use it later maybe not for what you expect but you'll use it um okay is that everything over here looks like there's Crystal Fi location, or do we already go here? Oh, oh, oh no. 
Okay, we're not gonna go for that. Okay, now we're gonna teleport to a little spot right below Jean Karst. It's already been 10 minutes? My goodness. I'm gonna try to keep this video under an hour. So I don't really want to edit it. So hopefully you guys can just farm along with me. And feel free to pause too and like mark stuff on your map. Um as we're going through this. Ba -ba -ba. I was just like trying to keep an eye out for unfortunately Ningguang Jade and uh Lapis doesn't appear. Freeze! Whoa. I've never heard her attack sound. Thankfully, most of these have respawned. So here's one right here. Two. That's generous. Two artifacts from that spot today. And then there's some barrels right here. I think it's this one that gives you... Nope. Wheat and radish. And then... Oh, man. Just more. Oh, no. Two artifacts. Okay, so four artifacts at these two spots right here. And then this is another location that I always recommend once you get to this one. Turn to your right because there's an elite enemy right here where I could potentially get myself a three to four star artifact. So this is why I like freezing enemies because it just makes it easier to kill. Okay, nothing today, but one can dream, right? It's also, you get more, uh, you get like little drops like that what's the, hurry? what's the hurry when you kill enemies so if they're in your way there's no reason to skip okay now let's go to the top of june karst right here ah, this tea is delicious mm -hmm. oh by the way this and this might be outdated depending on when you're watching this but Thank you for 10,000 subs on YouTube. I've been grinding real hard to try to put out YouTube content consistently, and I think I've gone from, like, there's also, I think there's a, I think if I get this, yeah. There's a lot. Why do I keep using Ningguang? Rain outlines your fate. Cool it. Oh, oh, you kidding me. <laughs> this moment will be frozen. <laughs> this moment will be frozen in hua. <laughs> wow, that's it. Oh no no. You know what? Whatever. Okay, and then there's another spot right here. It usually has one, one, two. This, time. this is like a little cult. If you've never been here, these I recommend having a chat with these with these homies uh so then i usually go over here because there's no artifact locations but there is i haven't respawned yet but there's two core lapis that spawn right here uh and then i think i've gotten crystal fly up up at the top before let me double check i'm gonna ignore that i think this is just food oh my gosh i'm an idiot I don't even have this marked on my map. Give up. Aha, I keep using Ningguang. Stop. Okay, apparently I, I didn't have this spot marked down. Two artifacts. Well, well, today I learned, and you learned too. Okay, uh, there's not a lot over here. There's some. Will Ningguang break this? No. Nothing much else to look at over here. Okay, now we're gonna go to back to the teleport waypoint we're at before. Don't go to this one, just go to this one. It's higher up. And then we're gonna turn to the right. Pretty sharp right, actually. Uh, this is a nice way to get some aura real quick. <laughs> just kill all of these. <laughs> What was that, like, 300 more real quick? You know, it's not a lot, but that's the thing. With the artifact farming and world open world farming, it's not a lot. Like, a one one-star artifact is not a lot. But when you play 
the game every day and you're always running out of stuff, it makes a difference. And now we're getting the housing system, so like the white. Give up. Oh, what was my timing there? Yikes! How dare you? Uh, kill them, Kaya. Okay, anyways. And especially as you get higher adventure rank, your drops increase, so you can get the highest level of, you know, uh, mob drops as possible. What's the hurry? Mm -hmm. I typically grab pretty much everything there is to offer here. So one, one artifact right here, and then one. Ooh, a two star. Thank you so much. Uh, is there ore down here? Oh. Fortunately, I've grabbed all the core lapis. Uh, I've been <laughs> pretty hardcore farming for Shongli lately, so I think I've got overkill. But there's some chilies over here, too. You want to grab those? Okay, so we're done with Gene Karst. Uh, let's hop over to... Yeah, let's go Tianchu Valley. Kind of, I I know I'm not going like from top to bottom or south to. I want to trade tactics. I'm always ready. South to north to south or anything. No, I'm not gonna worry about them for now. I'm not going the right way. I am. So go north. No, my sword. No, his sword. What's the hurry? Neither of these, none of these are elite enemies, so I'm gonna ignore them for now. Don't push your luck. Hey, uh, how do you survive? Whatever. So along the way here, there's two core lapis. Especially if you use a lot of geo characters. Take this. Make sure that you grab those. Can you go away? Can't you see I'm filming a YouTube video? What's the hurry? Uh, it's the fireplace over here, which I don't know. I actually don't know what I use them for, but they're there. Babies, oh, they're so cute. I think there's one right here. <laughs> and is there another one over here? I can't remember. I don't think so. I think it's just the one. Back at ya. Don't waste my time. Free. Why do I keep using Ningguang? Stop. He's only there for the ores. Yeah, so it's just the one over here. Nothing too fancy, but... If you're considering skipping one, this is probably one of the weaker areas. Uh, okay, so now... Let's hop over to Salteray. Oh, yeah. This one may or may not have respawned yet. We'll just have to see. This one is this one respawns like every twenty four hours, I think. Oh, this one might not have respawned yet. But inside this little tent, there's usually, I want to say five. Oh, they have respawned. Yeah, I don't even have to tell you. So there's three spots. Um, one, two, three, and then I think this one has food. No. So six. What was that? Five? Five artifacts right here? And then there is some iron over here. White iron if you want to grab that as well. Can't wait for the new housing system. And eggs. Also... Not not a mandatory, but if you want to have your uh, compass on you, you know, a uh, chest respawns, so you might grab a chest on your way. Oh. Also, just a quick hint. If you see anything in a pattern like this, one, two, three, that usually means something's going to happen when you get them all. <laughs> not in this case. <laughs> but in general, if you see things in a line, 
I bet that was a chest at some point. Uh, but if you see things in a line, that usually means there's something to get there. So that's a great location. Um, okay, let's hop up to Kivse Village. This is a nice easy... This is actually one of my favorite places on the map. Um, there's two songs that play here. There's one at night and one during the day. Oh wait, I missed one. Um, so this one, this song is called Fading Stories. And if you paid attention during the uh, Zhao Festival, you have like some... You have some quests over here. Some journeys. Or what are they called? So she started again. <laughs> Uh, you get to talk to some of these older folks that are here, and you'll notice this, um, there's only elderly and children who live here. And I can't remember all the details of the lore, but essentially, like, these are people who don't want to live in the city, or, like, their parents were open, like, their parents live in the city. So it's a very weird mix of, like, youthfulness and elderly here. And I just think it's cool that, um, that the, that the song that plays at night is called Fading Stories, as kind of as a representation of these elderly people who are thankfully able to tell their stories to kids, these kids who are here. Oh, dang it. Sorry, I talk, I accidentally talk to you like every day. Not gonna feel bad about that. Apple. Okay, nice. Now let's go to. We'll get this one first. By the way, I'll link some videos uh, below with some. I always go the wrong direction. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave some videos with some more specific farming tutorials. Uh, stuff that has where to find Core Lapis, where to find Jade. Uh, I'm not particularly farming either of those hardcore anymore, so I don't target them, but they are there. Uh, those videos do exist, so I'll leave them. Oopsie. Oh no! You better not, you better not teleport up to the top, I'll lose it. No, 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 no! Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> mm -hmm. But one thing I will say is that if, if you do kill like any enemy that's on the route, in route to... I'm just coming over here because there's some bamboo shoots. Um, you will be happy. You'll thank yourself later because you'll rarely ever run out of anything. <laughs> Uh, let's pop over here real quick, because there are two Lapis that you can grab real quick. Also, free board! There's an achievement, by the way, uh, that gives you like five Prima Gems or something. Teleport here with 150 HP, and the board will hit, and you, hit you and you'll die. Um, you can get, I think, it's, it's like death by four or something. Um, I think it's up. Core Lapis, I think, respawns every 48 hours or something like that. Hmm, and plunge attacks help the best. Hmm, <laughs> bamboo shoot. Okay. Oh, we probably could have just walked here. Because we were, like, right there. <laughs> Whatever. I gotta show you guys the achievement. Alright, anyways. Um, okay, let's go to Wuwang Hill. I'm so excited. I want to go to the caves and stuff. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Sorry. This isn't where I meant to go. But still, this is actually a good spot. I take it back. Never mind, I totally meant to come here. Um, here, they might be gone. But there is Jade that spawns here. And an elite mob. Um, oh, that you can knock out real quick. And 
Potentially get an extra artifact. How dare you move during my ult. Let you, huh? Let you what? Sorry, what was that? Didn't catch that. Dang it, snow artifacts. And you can kill these with fire, but I don't have any, so I'm not going to. Okay, anyways. Oh, you know what? Not my problem. Let's go to Stone Gate. Not my problem. Not my problem. Uh, okay, so over here, if you go to this kind gentleman right here, you can, you can buy tea from by the way. Uh, you can get one to two artifacts. And I think this is ore? No, cabbage. And then right here you can get some iron. Free iron chunks. Uh, go back to this spot. I really should have Albedo on my team, but... Right here. Here, will this work? Give up. I don't have anything. Anyone who can place something. <laughs> okay, let me swap her out for Albedo real quick. Albedo. Albedo, eh? Understood. <laughs> here, you can fly up on this wind current. There's two. And there's a little house over here that you can grab. You can grab on. Um, I think it's one. One artifacts. One artifact. There's one, there's a few spots that like consistently drop two, and then there's some spots that's like you might get one or two. Or you'll get two one star or one two star. Just depends. Right on this table here. Just the one. Oh no. Two! Uh, wow, that's so nice. Okay, uh, we're done with this spot here. Now let's teleport to... Actually, let's go here. Wangshu Inn. <laughs> By the way, her. Recommend doing this. You can buy violet grass. I don't need any. And you can buy these kind of annoying to process materials uh, if you want. So if you're looking for silk flower and violet grass, you can grab some from her. Uh, but down by the docks here, at these, I, oh, I want to say it's this one. Nope, there's nothing there. Right here. Right? No? Which one has the artifacts? I don't remember. Iron. Oh, I don't think it's... Oh my gosh, the sparkle didn't show up until I was... Okay, whatever. You know, whatever. Whatever. Do. No! Whatever. And then I'm actually gonna go... Uh, I guess this is probably faster. You know how Venti says that gliding is faster? I don't think gliding is faster. I think sprinting is faster. <laughs> Wouldn't gliding be faster? Mm -hmm. Close down. Uh, but make a stop right here. Because you can get some weapon fodder. This is actually one of the very few places... I think probably the only place on the map that drops weapons. Uh, so make sure you stop there. <laughs> on your way about. Oh. <laughs> Albedo's noises are so... It's just a lot. Money. 300! That's so nice. Na na na. Okay, and right here. This is great. I actually thought most of these places were gonna have to were not gonna be spawned or respawned. I'm glad they have. So that's two or no three right there. Um don't know what that is. Okay, so we went here. Okay, now we'll do Yeah, there's only one spot here. And then I think there's one more. 
significant one. Okay, well, let's go here first and grab this one. This one may not have respawned because I remember going there like late yesterday. But if you start from this waypoint and I think you just drop down. This one is definitely worth going to. Um, there is a little, little encampment right here. I think this has four, four artifacts, maybe two. Two. Hmm. I feel like I usually get more from that. Whatever, it's still worth going to, okay? Still worth it. Okay, there's one more. Where is it? One more, like, significant one. Oh, yeah. You can probably go through this a lot more orderly than I am, but, you know. It is what it is. Okay. Go to that waypoint. Literally just walk straight back. <laughs> and you'll find two artifact locations right here. Two. And then... One more. Oh, I think there's actually lapis over here. Yeah, there is. They typically spawn in one or two at a time. Sometimes three, which I will show you that spot in a second. Give me the lapis. Goodbye. Uh, I think that's the only thing really worth traveling over here for. Um, I swear there's one that I'm missing. It's like a pretty big one, too. This one. Aha! Go to Minyun Village. Minyun Village. And then you're just gonna turn around, I think? Which way is it? Yeah, okay. No, skip past this. You know, you'd think there's something in there, but... I think that's a time challenge if you've never gone there. But afterwards, there's nothing. Um, right over here... There's another little tent. Tenty tent. Um, if you want to pass it real quick to grab the flowers here. There's one. And then, ah, this is the location I was thinking of. <laughs> it has one. No way, is it really only one? Mm, yes, very good. I swear there was one more. Whatever, irrelevant. Okay, so now let's. This is the last, uh, significant artifact location. Is right here. Teleport to the the statue of the seven, and we're just gonna fly through the stone forest. Man. Being over here always reminds me of the first time I, like, really fell in love with Genshin Impact. It was right after I'd pulled Ningguang. <laughs> and we went up, I think we probably went right there. And it was during sunset. And I was still, honestly, trying to figure out the game at this point. And it was just so beautiful, and I was enjoying it so much. And, like, people were excited about it. I, s I was only averaging, like... Hmm. Gosh, I don't even want to- I don't even know. Maybe 70 viewers at the time? Maybe less. Probably like 60. And I- I, I kind of stopped playing Genshin Impact for a while because... I was like, you know, people aren't really watching it. It doesn't seem people are all that excited about the game. But I kind of just, like, at that point decided, like, I like this game. I know there's an audience for it somewhere. I just need to find them. And... I just kept playing and I posted content about Genshin Impact and... My viewership has grown, like, pretty, pretty dramatically since then. Um... Which is really exciting. <laughs> 
So yeah. Anyways, enough about that. Sorry, the song just brought back all his memories. Um, okay, we're gonna do a little bit of lapis and ore farming real quick. Um, that's about the extent of the artifact locations. I think there's a couple more that I don't have marked, but it's they're typically just one. Elite. Okay, so I, I don't have a ton. I pretty much just have locations that have elite bosses and uh, ores that I want. Uh, this is a location I usually go to to grab some crystal. Crystal you need a lot of, by the way. Um, Mystic Enchantment Ore can be either made through crystal. At this point in my farming, I usually grab... Um, I usually swap out Beto for Razor. Um, fortunately, I don't have Razor builds, but a game join request. Man, you know I would, but since I stopped hiding my UID, I know I have it hidden right now, but like, since I stopped hiding it, I don't know where these game join. Wow, that was scuffed. I didn't get. I only got one. Okay, well there's four. <laughs> This is this oh no, there's five. There's five that spawn in here. If you want to try to get them, you can come back multiple times too. Okay. I never know where they're coming from. Okay, this little jade cave right here. If you teleport to back to that waypoint. You can grab those. <laughs> Just texting my husband, excuse me. Okay, we're gonna navigate to... There's a jade cave over here. If so, if you're looking for Noculus Jade, there is quite a bit. I think there's also Lapis in here, if I'm not mistaken. I know Liyue is huge compared to Mondstadt, but it's pretty nice that they're all, like, pretty decently close to each other. Right here. There's also Crystal flying here. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, got them. I'm stuck. <laughs> Man. As soon as I get Zhongli, man, it's over for all y'all. Anyways. It's over for all of y'all. So there's one core lapis, and then I think five or six uh Noculus Jade. Which Beidon uses this. Uh who else uses Core Lapis? I mean Noculus Jade. There's also quite a few elite enemies on this beach here, if you want to drop down and grab those. Uh, now let's go to Mount Ozong. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Do -do -do. Oh, where am I going? The wrong way. Wrong way, wrong way. So once you get to the teleport waypoint, pretty much just drop down. You can grab this if you want. Drop down to right here. And ta-da! We have not just a ton of ore. We also have an elite enemy, which we can potentially get a freeze. No, my sword. Ring cutter. An artifact from. I don't know if I can actually freeze him though. I can! Haha. <laughs> go Kaya! Go Kaya! Go Kaya! Go Kaya! Come on, give me something! By the way, drop rates for, uh. The drop rates for artifacts from mobs is about 11%. So it's like, not all of them. Not all of them. Not even most of them. Okay, I'm gonna switch to- Oh! Never mind, I'm not. No, my sword. Dodge this. 
I'll switch to Razor. After this, cause... No! Come on, just come over here and hit me, huh? take so long. <laughs> Once I have Xiongli, Xiongli is by far the best um, farmer. I'll scout ahead. But Razor does a pretty great job. Highly got um, dummy. Also, he breaks in three instead of two at a time, which is great. Oh no, sorry. He bre I mean... <laughs> my multitasking skills he breaks um he can break a rock in three hits instead of four which beto for some reason is so slow can he break in two you know what irrelevant irrelevant oh that was an elite enemy too maybe i got something here Ugh, nothing. And you can get some local specialties. G and Chili's here. Cool, cool, cool. Now let's go to Mount Kulau. This is a probably the best spot for Core Lapis. Um, once you get to the waypoint, just turn around. Right here, there's a spot of four. Do do do. And Razor will break. Oh no! Razor will break all of these easily. And then there's, I think, one over here. I love the shadow design in this game. It's so pretty. And I ignore those. Can I break both of these at once? Oh, I'll scrub for these. This is just me trying to keep Razor alive until I can teleport out of here. Okay, now let's walk down a little bit. Or fly down, whatever. Because there's quite a bit of lapis along the way. I think there's two or three as you're walking down these steps. I thought there was one over here. Yep. Uh, it might be it. I believe there is some... Like, right down here. Actually, let me test it. If I remember correctly, there's like two. If you drop down directly. You just like run. And jump down. Yep. There's two right here. Mm hmm. Cool. Uh, next. Crystal. Oh, no, they saw me. Yeah, so here are two locations. We'll drop, we'll pop over there, uh, real quick. Dunya Ruins is probably one of my favorite places to farm for bosses, for elite bosses. And then also right here um if you start here across pretty much just if you start here and walk this way you can get probably six elite enemies so we'll we're definitely are gonna pop over there uh before we before i end this video and hopefully we can i can actually get a drop that would be sick <laughs> that'd be super nice I want to say there's like a little... Yeah, okay. I think there's a little entrance. Wait, what, what am I looking for here? Oh, it's on the other side. I'm going to avoid those guys because they're annoying and they're not elite enemies, so it's not worth my time. Where is the entrance? I swear there's a little spot that has a bunch of of crystal over here, but I can't find it. 
please. You know, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Uh, I won't fight it because it takes forever, but there is an elite boss right there. And then elite boss right here. This one I'll kill because it's fast. Although I've seen it, I've seen it said that ruin guards have better, um, better drop rates than these easier to kill elite mobs. No, let's just see. Maybe I can get one. Maybe I can get me one. Good money, good money. Good money, good money. Time to act. No, my sword! Dodge this! Don't get frostbite. Come on. Freeze. I believe maybe we will get something. Cool it. Come on. What's the hurry? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Gosh, world's being stingy today. My goodness. Okay, quickly let's hop over here just so I can show you my favorite farming spot. Okay, so pretty much just as soon as you see, you'll see a Fatui agent right there. Um, up from there, there's a Sisson Mage here. There are, I think, two Rune Guards and a Rune Hunter and then another Rune Guard down here. So you have lots of chances to potentially get, um, he's looking at me, to potentially get a, um, some four star artifacts in five star, or no, 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 three star artifacts. Um, there is definitely something that I'm missing. Where is it? There's a nice little cave somewhere that I can't recall the location of. Oh, this is a great spot. Let's look at this. Um, this is typically a great place to get crystal. Go to the waypoint, turn around. Yeah, typically. Uh, unfortunately, it hasn't respawned yet. But <laughs> if you float down from here, normally there is... There is a... Uh... No, no, no. Oh, can this banner go away? I'm so scared I'm actually gonna accidentally gonna wish. Uh, right here you can find quite a bit of crystal and mystic enchantment. Or no, not mystic. Magical ore or something. And then also right here. Uh, we won't worry about that for now. Oh, here's the other cave. Right. Uh, I'm gonna ignore these guys because none of them are gonna give me drops. Just gonna climb up real quick. And drop in right here. This is a crystal fly heaven. <laughs> Fortunately, I was hitting the wrong key, so I did not. Again, I'm not going to get any of them, um, except three. <laughs> There's also usually quite a bit of enchantment. Uh, I'm still burning. Okay, this is illegal. I don't like. I don't want to be here anymore. Normally, there's a lot of more, okay? We're not gonna worry about <laughs> uh, Okay, last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get teleport to Leo Hopper, and then we're gonna teleport to Mondstadt. Uh, this is something that you can do every- I'm still burning! Body and mind. <laughs> Beto. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go to the forgery. You can do this every day. Go to Master Zong. Ask him about Liyue's mining products, and he will mark locations on your map where you can go and get a dense amount of crystal and mystic... Why do I keep saying that? Magic ore. Magic ore, okay? It's nice and fast and easy. Um, and I'm gonna ignore... I'm gonna ignore non-elite mobs, because I don't have time for it today. 
Stop! <laughs> and they're too slow to really do anything anyways. And two right here. For some reason I remember there being some lapis down here. But I could be wrong. I feel like they're right behind this rock. Yes? No? Maybe? Down it. I thought there was. What's the hurry? I uh, no more out of you. Thank you though. You're like whatever. Again, I'll link some videos down below of some. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll link some videos of more specific locations uh, if you're looking to hunt down specific elements. Apparently, there's a lot of crystal down here. Where is the question? Ah! I don't think I've ever had this location. See, it's quite generous. Um, and this you can convert into Mystic Enchantment Ore, and I believe it's going to be usable in the uh, housing system that we're getting in 1.5. Oh, Crystal Fly. No, come here. Come here. Ugh. Darn it. I'm an idiot. But you can see, they normally hang around in dark places. Um, this is a nice little cluster. I like it. So these locations that you're given, um, I'd recommend marking some of them on your map. Because these do, uh, so he's specifically giving you locations for magical crystal chunk. But even when there's no magical crystal chunk at this location on this day, this is still a good place to actually go and get magic, go and get just regular crystal. Uh, Alright, so one more. Two more over here. Ooh. Look at all that. That's a lot. <laughs> and they give you between one and three per. per, like, break, which is great. But. Ooh, I had the storm, by the way. Oh, dang it. I didn't hold. They do give you... Uh, actually, let's test it out. Is that a... What are my orders? Hold on a minute. What's that? Is that real? I'll come back here later. But yes, Eye of the Storm can give you artifacts. Uh, so let's see if we can get lucky. At least just one time. Just one time in this video would be pretty awesome. Go Ganyu. Go Ganyu. Go Ganyu. Go Ganyu. Go Ganyu. Go Ganyu. They don't give you anything else, though. Which is a bummer. You don't get- they don't have their own, like... Nope. Unlucky. Very unlucky today. Okay, anyways. Let's get this last... little spot here. See, I have this marked. Uh, and today there happened to also be... Uh... I was gonna die. Also be the magical crystal as well. I believe there's also a crystal spot next to the pyro regivine and the cryo regivine. 
See, it's a lot. That's all. I think that's everything for Liyue. Again, there is more stuff to find here. It's just quite tedious. So uh, these are. This is something that I hope that you can do consistently. Oh, actually, this is a good spot. Let's stop here real quick. There's a tiny little, tiny little cave right here. <laughs> tiny baby cave. There is some lavender le, 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 grass. Why was I saying lavender grass? Access denied. Cool it. <laughs> nice. Oh, he didn't see me. <laughs> you can grab some lapis. And other materials as well. Okay. Uh, there was one more cave that I wanted to try to find, but... Oh, I missed that there are also two lapis here and here. You want to mark those down? Oh, there's definitely one more! I can picture it in my head. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It is... Ah, yes, here it is. Ha ha! I remember it! Well, my map reminded me. <laughs> we'll go here real quick. And uh, just a reminder, I'm not going to go through it because it's pretty repetitive, but um, if you go to Mondstadt and ask the... Um, the, 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 the blacksmith the same question that you asked earlier uh, in leeway you can get though he'll give you locations uh i think it's like right here no feel free to get these uh, uh -huh. these mobs as well this is a race to keep this under an hour Man, no drops. No drops for me ever. I will find this cave, so help me. Oh, oh, we're close. We're very close. I think it's under the stairs or something. What's the hurry? Somehow he has they haven't seen me. Oh, they saw me. <laughs> I've been seen. <laughs> Loser spinning in circles. Here it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, Razor. We almost lost Razor. <laughs> okay, that's about all I wanted to show you. Let's go go back to this nice location. All right, guys. That is my pretty much complete uh, farming routine. Again, feel free. There are lots more elite enemies, a lot more potential to get uh more artifacts uh but real quick i'll just show you what we gathered today all this all this nice stuff free artifact part for you okay uh thank you for watching uh feel free to hang out on twitch sometime twitch.tv forward slash dish feel free to ask me questions uh and check out the links for videos down below for more in-depth details on all this stuff all right thank you for watching bye Thank <laughs> you.